All right, in our last episode, we selected the USF Bulls for our dynasty. Today, we'll be going over recruiting, some tips on recruiting that could possibly help you guys out in your dynasty, but I'm also still learning myself. But based on some other dynasties I've just been doing for fun and trying to learn the game, hopefully I can bring out some tips that will also help you guys with the recruiting progress especially trying to land some of the players that you want to land, whether it be a four-star, five-star, three-star. Obviously, as a one-star school, it's going to be really, really hard for us to land those five-star, even four-star recruits. I've landed a couple four-star recruits in my other one. I've gotten close and was in the top three for a five-star recruit, but obviously don't have the same resources to land those guys let's talk about this board as it can get very very tricky obviously it gives you the recommended you can also sort the recommended by the top star recruits now we got some four star recruits here that we also need a d tackle so that might be one of them we're going to add to the board so we're going to go ahead and add it once it has the target symbol on it that means it's added and i'll show you guys what you can do next but you don't have to sort by recommended. You can sort by five-star prospects as well. But if you also look at recommended, that pipeline is also a four. It's a very high-rated pipeline, which that's going to be a significant like value for you. Those pipelines that are high, fours, threes, I think five, five might be the highest. Maybe four is the highest. There's still some stuff I don't know. But if you go to like the five-star prospects, you'll start seeing that a lot of them they're, you're locked out on and the ones you're not locked out on, you can also sort by need on what positions you actually need. You could sort by pipeline. What ones have the highest pipeline? Here we go. We need a QB. He's ranked five. He's ranked five, one in his position, but he is a guy that we could add to the board. We might as well add him to the board. We need him. Also, there's another five-star guy, one pipeline, but we can add him to the board and we're going to take these three guys and talk about them a little bit talk about the recruiting process a little bit how it works and things to look out for that i have seen so now we can go back up to the recruiting board and you're gonna, now we're going to see those guys that we have so we can start with the with the first guy now he has a deal breaker proximity to home that's going to be crucial for us you can also see the other tiers, the pipeline tiers for the other schools that are involved, which is also going to make it very tough for those guys to beat those guys with the fives. But we're going to try to. So now when we do this, we see he has a proximity to home. Now, when you guys are looking at this, I'm going to have to move my webcam over on the YouTube side. I will just probably get rid of it so you guys can see. Over on the right hand side, it says the interest. There's no check marks there. It's all question marks. That's why you're adding actions. That's why you're DMing the player. That's why you're contacting friends and family every week that you're doing that. Those things are going to reveal whether they're interested in them or whether they're not interested in them. That way, when you do a hard sell or a soft sell, you are doing a hard sell on the actual perfect match. Every player will have a perfect match where three check marks will fit that criteria. And then it'll be the it'll be the, basically the perfect hard sell. And that's what you're kind of looking for when to hard sell. Also, as soon as you can schedule a visit, once it's down to the top five schools, you want to schedule your visits as soon as possible because you want to be there be the lap visit and everything before other schools get involved because if they visit on the same day you cannot visit that day and then you might not get a chance to visit now what i do with most of these guys especially four star five star recruits i'm gonna offer them a scholarship right away because i already know they're gonna be a very good asset to my team even by adding two uh, two scholarships for a QB, I'm going to try to get one of them. I don't think I would try to get both at the same time, but I, I feel like one would drop off anyways, and then that one I would just basically forget about and not even try. But I might as well try for both to start out just to see if I can gain some ground and see where I'm at with those guys 
like later on in the process of recruiting. Now, when it comes to your coach's abilities, now, obviously I would put some of this stuff, like I'm like using the recruiter. I want to be able to recruit the best, right? So I'm putting like stuff in passing game QB stuff because I obviously my team needs a QB. So recruiting a QB is very essential, especially if I can land these five-star recruits. And by leveling up my recruiting for QB, I think it gives me a higher chance at landing these five-star recruits for quarterback. So look at positions you need, and those are going to be the positions that I would upgrade first when it comes to your recruiting and your coach's abilities. If you go and choose recruiter, as your specialty for your coach. Because you could also choose motivator or architect or technician, I believe. I think all of these or some of these might be, I think technician and motivator are the other two choices besides recruiter. So depending on the route you wanna go, I went recruiter, I wanna be the best recruiter in the nation. So now what we're gonna do with these recruits, now that we've progressed the week, we're able to contact friends and family, send the house. Like I'm probably going to, with 400 hours, I'm probably going to contact friends and family right out the gate. And I'm doing to do that. No problem. No, no questions asked, especially with the five-star recruits. These three stars will probably do some offering, some contracts with them just to see. I feel like they, besides like the quarterbacks, I might actually want to see if we got any gyms in there before we actually go and offer them a contract, but we all, we have two left tackles. So we probably compare those two um, middle linebacker, right outside linebacker, left outside linebacker, right guard punter, like all these guys probably offer them a scholarship. I only got one for each position so far. So we're going to go ahead and add these guys uh, scholarships right away. Hopefully that boosts us a little bit. We have another right guard right here. Should actually see which one's better, but we already offered him a scholarship. So we're not going to worry about it. We got a cornerback and then we got left outside linebacker, right outside linebacker and our middle linebackers. And then a couple scholarships for our wide receivers as well. Now on our left tackle, we can actually scout a little bit. Ass block 79, 56 speed. He looks like he's got pretty good pass block, impact block. He's a road dog, run block, strength looks pretty good with Purv uh, Purvis over here. Looks like good pass block, um, acceleration and pass block power. Could be a decent, decent pass block 82, pass block finesse 82, 78 strength. That's not too bad. Maybe scout this one one more time. 79, 76, 65. Yeah, I think this one right here is the one to go with. So I'm gonna offer him a scholarship. Whether I'm doing this right or not, I do not know. But at the same time, I think I got like a good beginner step on what to do here and want to share it with you guys so you guys can learn as we go as well so we're going to go ahead we are going to friends and family on that one as well and i will show you guys once we progress the week once we get a lot of these hours spent on what's going to happen when we actually contact friends and family because we can't do a hard sell or nothing yet because those you have to be down to their top five schools before you can do that. But you want to know, you want to know their perfect hard sell before you get down to that, those top five schools. That way you could sell the player as fast as possible. I mean, hard sell the player as fast as possible. So you beat them to the punch and give yourself the best chance of landing that player before any other team could finalize the negotiation we got 45 left so we'll probably put a little bit extra on a couple of these guys contact friends and family on that one right there we definitely need probably we don't really need a cornerback so we're gonna go probably the right guard here and we'll do a search social media get a few more stars on these guys as well and just see what they reveal next week we're in the off season this is 14 scholarships right here pretty decent amount pretty happy about it now left tackle left tackle right guard i guess we could just offer you a scholarship why not doesn't hurt we'll go ahead and we're probably not gonna land all you guys anyways we got all of our hours up in the top right all of them are taken care of we didn't leave any on the table so we're gonna go ahead and advance to the next week and decide 
who do we want to remove hours from who do we want right now so already Emmett has reached his top five schools so that five-star recruit war we have no chance of no chance already that's that happens right not even in the top eight so that's going to happen right there uh we're going to go back to recruiting and you're going to see it right here we're going to be locked out of all these guys so not in their top eight so they're gone Purvis is gone starter is gone so it narrows it down quite a bit for you so we really don't have any five-star recruit no more but we still have the four-star recruit and we are number two so what happens how do we get to be number one we are a little bit behind florida gators it looks like right now so when we go over here we know check marks on proximity to home and coach prestige and then deal breaker is proximity to home so when you go to like hard sell it doesn't let us yet but when you go to hard sell them you're going to look for three check marks right it's going to give you three random ones one of them has to be on proximity to home so the, if whatever which whatever one is on proximity to home you need the other two to also be check marked so coach prestige could be one but there's only one perfect one that has all three check marks so you need to have those revealed in order to know which one but proximity to home being a deal breaker which means that's going to rule out literally probably all of them except like three and then you just have to figure out what the last ones are. And then, like I said, if there's not a check mark on some of them, you can rule that one out as well. Because three check marks means it's going to be a perfect hard sell. So now on this guy, we're, we're going to go back on this. I'm going to remove friends and family. I'm going to send the house on this guy now. I want him. I, he's a D tackle. We need him. He's a four star recruit. We could also, we could also kind of like um we could scout him a little bit but i still think he's there's no reason to waste our sort resources on scouting him because he is a four star and we are a one star school i think it's already easily said that he is going to be better than anything that we have currently and the same thing with these guys i'm probably going to go back to contact uh friends and family and then we we'll can remove the other one if we need the hours or just leave it for now. So contact friends and family, contact friends and family. And then finally on the last one, contact friends and family. Now we have none left. We could also remove some of the ones that we don't need. So we don't need that. We don't need that. And we could go try to find another recruit that we may also want to look at. Like right here, we got Doyle. He's a four-star recruit, ranked 35 in the nation, second at his position. Definitely a guy we need to probably look at right there, and it's someone who we need. We also need a free safety. We got Bollinger, number two in the pipeline, top eight, seventh interest in our school. He's in the top 10 interest players in our school. There is a cornerback, but we don't really need a cornerback, so we're not going to go with him. Doyle's not in our top 10, but that's okay. We're still going to go ahead and try to get him. And just another four-star recruit that we can go after. Now we got Hare right here. He's athletics. Well, he can play multiple position. We're first in his interest list. He could be a gym. Might as well take a look at him because he could play multiple positions. We'll have to see if he could play a position that we need. And we got some left outside linebackers as well. We might have lost some right there, but he's also number four in our pipeline for that athletic. We also have a halfback. Could definitely use a halfback as well. We also got a tight end, but we don't need a tight end. Here's another five-star recruit. Doesn't fit our pipeline, so that's going to make it really tough. But he's number nine in the nation, number one at the position, best halfback right now. So we're going to go back. We're going to start out with that halfback, and we're going to see what we can do with them. We're going to basically offer him a scholarship and then also going to send the house on him and see if we can get some early interest from him and see how it goes. Same thing with, I believe, Doyle. We're going to basically add an action to him and DM a player. We're also going to search social media and offer a scholarship. The other four-star guys, hopefully they don't go away, but that's what we're going to do this week. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can get to the top five with one of our players so we can show you guys the next step. All right, Morris, Shaq, Glenn, Quentin, and more have all reached the top 
five, which is good for us. So we got uh, Dalton, Darren, Kareem, and we're first in a lot of the three-star guys right here. We are first, and they've reached their top eight or top five. We also completed some goals. So that's going to help us out right there with our coach. We could probably upgrade our coach just slightly, maybe. We got 20 points to upgrade our coach, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go coach's abilities. We also know that we're after a quarterback. We also know that we're after a running back. So we're going to definitely upgrade that. We're also after wide receivers. So we want to upgrade that as well. And I believe we're been offered some D line or offensive linemen, defensive linemen. Mate, were we after, after some defensive linemen? I know we are after a couple linebackers for sure. And secondary DBs. We can't do that one yet. So that's, that's going to be our upgrade. That way we just have one star in all of them. It's going to help out a little bit. I believe with our recruiting, eventually get us some more hours with those players as well. So we can do more things than just like send the house. We can add some other stuff to it. So now we're going to go back to recruiting here and see what we got. See, now we got, let's look at the top five schools. We got Charles here. We are leading we're in first wake force is right behind us so we're going to go to recruiting we can't schedule a visit yet which actually maybe we could schedule a visit if we didn't have this I'm not too sure no we still can't schedule a visit so that's fine contact friends and family but we could also hard sell him but the thing is do we have enough information to hard sell him he does not look like he has any type deal breaker so if we were to go hard sell him, which we don't have enough, but we do have enough. We would just have to get rid of friends and family. If we were to go to hard sell him, this is what it's going to look like. I still don't have enough. Okay. Oh, I don't have. Okay. That makes sense. I don't have 40. We could figure that out. Just give me a second. Just so I know. Beckner, just hold on a second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, now we can schedule a visit. So we can either schedule a visit because we have enough hours, right? We could schedule a visit. That's why you really don't want too many people on your recruit board because it's going to make harder to spend your hours. See, learning from my mistake is going to be harder to spend your hours on the recruits that you want the most if you have too many recruits at the same time. So sometimes go slow and steady. Get the guys that you want first. So we could schedule a visit, which obviously gives us a good amount of of bonuses we could do an early schedule or we could hard sell them and then all and then schedule the visit next week so if you hard sell them you want to know what he wants so we know two things we know his coach prestige and academic prestige but there also might be other things he wants like proximity to home and the only way you're going to find that stuff out is if you keep on basically contacting friends and family, send the house, stuff like that. Each week, you are going to find out more and more about him by doing that. Now, this one, I can almost tell you what his hard sell might be because I can almost tell you because, let me remove this. I know a lot of these already. I've been through a lot of them, but proximity to home and plane style are probably part of it, which means it's probably going to be, it's game time. But it could be more stuff. It could also be the clutch pro potential. Like, like that's why I said it's crucial to find this stuff out. Because even though I think it's proximity to home and playing style, even though I think those two are definitely it, those two also fit with two different ones, the clutch and game time. So it's going to make it difficult to find out exactly which ones. But we know it's not this one because we see an X. It's not this one because we see an X not this it could be that it could be that could be that it's not well, it could be that i guess because we don't know those those could all be check marks it's not that it could be that it's not that not that not that could be that but it also could be time to get to work that's another one that's a very popular one too uh it's could be that not that not that not that and could be that so you see where I talk about, like, you want to make sure before you hard sell that you have the right one. So maybe with him, we schedule a visit. However, I think I'm just going to contact friends and family. We don't need to schedule a visit just yet. Uh, same with Beckner. We'll go back to contact friends and family. We're good to there. We're in the top five right now. Hopefully we could stay there. And they don't. we're first place right now. So I don't think we get bumped too far out. And we're also second with him. So we're looking good right now. 
I think we can actually move on to the next week. We have a game right here, but we're going to advance a week, see if we win the game. We're 1 0 already. We're not going to play the game. We're good. We're stimming the game. We're not playing the game. I just want to show you guys the recruiting stuff right now. So that's what we're doing. All right. Banjit reached top five. So our four stars reach the top five. We get 70 XP right there. We'll take that. I don't know if we got anything else. Did we get any points to spend on our carousel for our coach? We did not. So we go back to recruiting. Hopefully get some more hours. Hopefully figure out what we need on this one. So proximity to home is a deal breaker. So that means once we, when we go over here, we sent the house on them. Right, so if we go to hard sell them, we know proximity to home has to be one of them. Has to be. So we know it's not that one because there's an X. Not that one. Uh, that doesn't have proximity to home. That one does. So it could be that one. I've never seen that one yet, but it could be aspirational. Could be that one. But it also could be a uh, coach prestige. It also could be the student of the game. Proximity to home, coach prestige, and academic prestige. Now we have all those. That doesn't mean that's the right one though, but it's a very good one. And he is interested in that one. So I'm really thinking it, it, it might be that one. So for this time around, I'm gonna take the guess. I'm gonna hope it's that one. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hard sell them on all of those motivations. Doesn't mean it is the best, but our pitch results give us five, basically five positive pitch results for that one. If it goes well, now these guys down here, I'm going to add scholarships to them. Probably shouldn't. I should save my stuff and we're going to try to find out a little bit of information on them. We are first and Pope were third in the interest. And we found out not too much about him yet. Proximity to home is definitely one of them, but we have not found out too much else about Pope yet. One of our five-star recruits that we are trying to go after. So we'll just send the next week, see how we go. We are one and one. We're facing Southern Miss this week. Let's see if we won that game. And we sent through it. All right. Shaq, top three. Devontae, top five. So we got some top three results now, which means I don't even know if we can visit anymore with top three. We'll have to wait and see. Go back to recruit. Rooting. We did get 10 coach points that we could do. We were number one for Bajant. Now we are number two. So their pitch definitely did a lot better than ours. But it looks like we got some influence. It definitely went up. Maybe scheduling a visit could be the move now. However, we don't have enough hours. Maybe we should have scheduled a visit before. Or we do the hard sell. That could have helped. However, I mean, we're up there. We're definitely up there. We got 10 hours. I guess I could DM the player, talk to him a little bit, see if that can convince him just a little bit more. But if we can get some more hours for, let's see, he's a D tackle. So what we could do for him right now is we could actually go to our coaching skills and he is a D tackle. So we're going to go over to our recruiting and we're going to look at our defensive line and we're going to go ahead, um, add there and recruiting actions give a bonus to DLs. So hopefully that helps us out because he's a D tackle. So we upgraded the D tackles a little bit and hopefully that's going to help us out with him and give us the advantage there in recruiting him. It might not, but at least it's a good effort to do so we're second in doyle third first and first in pope so far so he's very interested right now in us and i'm liking that lsu is right behind they went down we flew up to the top of his interest board which is huge but it's still gonna be hard to land because obviously we don't have the hours to spend we only have 50 hours on him as well to spend we don't have a, a boost on hours so we might have to look at that hopefully we can get some more carousel points to upgrade our coach. That way it could boost some of our recruiting. Uh, winner committed to Illinois. So we just fell behind on winner right there. That is unfortunate. But let's go ahead and see what we are. So when we lost winner, everybody else, top five schools, it looks like. So that's very good. A four star reached his top three schools. So we are on that list. Let's go over to recruiting and see what we can do with him now. We are number three 
We are not far behind, but they also already scheduled visits. We have not scheduled a visit, so maybe that's what we need to do. We already hard sold him, so maybe we just need to remove that. We can't schedule a visit no more. Hmm. Do we sway him? Do we hard sell again? Do we know anything else more? We do not. So proximity to home, that is the best one. Student of the game, we already did that. We could try to sway him though. Think that might be the move. So when we sway, we try to get him to think us about something else that we might be good at, like coach prestige. We have proximity to home and academic with anything else. Campus lifestyle, we could pitch that proximity to home what else could we possibly pitch that our ratings might be a little bit better at than what we previously had it's like a last resort but we're behind so i'm thinking that this might work um coach prestige and conference prestige could be it but i like this one proximity to home campus lifestyle we're going to pitch that. We are going to pitch that and see what he could do. All right. Pope is in the top eight. We can't add anything more to him. He is a running back that we want. We want to see what this guy is all about. We have 35 hours. We also have 35 hours because some people committed. Yeah. Winner committed already. So he's gone. No one else actually committed. We're pretty much first or third in all of these guys. So he is a four. We have some hours to work with here. So we're going to go ahead and well, we could, do we have enough? We don't have enough on him yet. Contact friends and family for him. We're going to add a little bit to DM the player for him. I mm, think that's about it for now. Could see some guys that I'm just not interested in, but you know, I'm interested in everyone so far. Let's go ahead. We're one and three on the year. If we were playing some games, we'd probably be winning some games, but that's okay. Let's move on and see what we can do. Bajan committed to Miami. No, but we got Bollinger. So we lost one of our four star recruits. We spent a lot of, a lot of resources on. And unfortunately, we just could not get it done. American uh, defensive player of the week. Rashad Shinny, four tackles, three of them for losses. Love that right there. Yep, it's our bye week, so this might be a good time. He's locked out, verbally committed, so we remove him. He is gone. We got top five, top five, top three, top five, top five, top five. This is where we probably start. Ooh, this one's kind of close. He's like right behind us. This is probably where we start actually going for it. Um, bye during our bye week maybe i think we're gonna, just gonna do a bye week bye week and proximity to home is an a plus i think we we have to we have to hard sell that one family visit is gonna be our um what about these guys right here any of these guys possibly interest first 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 five star interest top eight still only the top eight so we can't schedule a visit can't hard sell can't do nothing yet but we are we are up there we're almost we're almost up there to win that um top eight top five what other ones were top three charles was top three but didn't we already we didn't schedule a visit can't really add any more hours this is where it gets a little bit tough for me guys because i think i just have too many recruits i can't schedule visits for guys i should probably schedule visits for only having 14 hours is kind of hurting me right now making it very very tough but let's go ahead and simulate to the next week and see what happens on the board we're probably going to lose some, win some. Some might commit. Moore's committed to Wake Forest and Devontae committed to UCF. Gain some XP right there. But, you know, we still have a lot on the board that are still interested in us. And that's okay. So we, we lost a couple there. We lost Charles to Wake Forest, which is a wide receiver. And we lost a left outside linebacker as well. But we gained 90 hours, so that's going to help us out here. We lost, but we gained. Pope is in the top five, and we are number one. We don't know. Ooh, I might have an idea. Proximity to home might be one of the ones. Should probably schedule a visit and schedule one right away. We're going to schedule a visit during the bye week, and I'm going to go with academic prestige. I think that's going to be one of them. So we're going to go with academic prestige right there. We're also going to add an action and I'm going to contact friends and family on them. I already have send the house, so I can't add any more action. Yeah, we used all of our hours. Hey, maybe we can get some more hours for halfbacks. That'd be amazing. Top five for Bollinger. Uh, 
probably need to schedule a visit for him. Um, pro potential proximity to home is a really good one. We'll do him week eight and we're going to do proximity to home family visit for him. That's going to give up most of our hours for now, but hopefully that can get the job done. We've got 10 hours remaining. So we can add to another one. I really, 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 really kind of want Doyle's top eight hairs, top eight Pope. He's top five. You just remove that and get the in the player instead. Boom. There we go. And I think that's it for this week. We have any coaching stuff that we could do. We do not though. We advance to the next week. See what we got in store for week number, I believe eight. Ooh, definitely leveled up a lot. Did we get anything? We got 10 coaching points. Nothing moved on the recruiting update. So that's a good sign for us. No one commit. Well, I mean, no one committed. So that could be a bad sign, but we're going to go over to our coach abilities. Now, I actually want to get a coaching ability for a halfback because obviously our five-star recruit is a halfback. So recruiting actions give a bonus to running backs, increase weekly recruiting hours for running backs. So now we can do more with them and then hopefully can he'll commit to us because we can actually do a little bit more with them when it comes to the recruiting. So we'll go down to our halfback first. That's the one I'm going to focus on. We are on the top five, but we're in second now. Our visit is also scheduled. We need to do something here. Do we have what he needs? I think we can hard sell him pretty easily now. We only have 50. So instead of sending the house, we are going to add an action. We're going to hard sell him this week because we already have a visit scheduled. And we're going to hard sell. It's going to be Coast Prestige, Academic Prestige, and Proximity to Home. That's what it's going to be. That's what we have to offer. That's what we're going to do. We also got 25 more hours. We're going to contact friends and family. And that's our last shot at Pope right there, pretty much. Given our last and final shot, we got a visit scheduled here. We also could possibly, proximity to home is one of them, right? We got pro potential as the second one. Mm, that one could still kind of up in the air on what it is. I still don't know exactly what that one is. I don't want to delete these and send the house on them. I don't want to just send the house, get as much information as we possibly can. He's in the top five and he's our, one of our four-star recruits. These guys up here, he's in second, maybe even send the house on this guy as well. Actually, we could, we could hard sell him right now. Yes, we can. Ooh, yes, we can. There it is. I see it. I see the three check mark. Got to find out which one is that. There it is. Campus lifestyle, proximity to home and program tradition. Hometown hero is going to be our hard sell there. That's going to be us 25 more to spend. Um, DM maybe top five there. So Jaden is done. We got Quentin. He is in first right now by a long margin. So I think we're okay right there. Overview. This one's kind of tight. We're top five. Don't have enough hours. Can we saw? We could probably hard sell them though. We could probably hard sell them. Pretty sure we could hard sell him right now. Those three check marks at the bottom. There it is. The clutch hard sell him. We got 10 more hours to spend. We'll spend it on him right there. And I'm going to call that. That's going to be for this week right here. All right. We're one in five, but we're simming to next week anyways. Let's get it done. Top three schools. Top three schools for Bollinger. Nice. We're still alive. We are still alive. We got to see how we are doing here. Losing games definitely doesn't help. Like if we were winning games, it'd be a lot easier. But mainly, I just wanted to show you guys the recruiting process as we are very close. Lattimore's probably, we're not probably not going to get him apparently. Visit is in week nine. Doesn't look like, looks like he might commit before he even visits, unfortunately. We're second with Bollinger. Pope, we're second just behind. Is there anything else we could do for him? Not really. Not really. I think we did pretty much everything. It's just our D plus and coach prestige is kind of hurting them. Unfortunately, that's hurting us a little bit. Uh, Bollinger, we're, we are second. We're right there. We went up a little bit, but we're just not not quite there yet, but we could hard sell him now. So instead of sending the house, we can definitely hard sell him because now we know what he wants. There it is. We have a C and a D or we could try to persuade him, sway him a different way. So we can try to sway him to proximity to home playing time. We'll use two of the three, try to give him time to get to work. We'll try to sway him that way. And then we'll add a couple here. 
we also add a soft sell Ooh, we can we could soft sell soft sell and a sway i don't know if I don't know. I've never tried something like that, but we're going a little crazy. We're going a little crazy with him. He's a four-star recruit. It's free safety. We want him. We want to see if we can get him, but we have a bye week to get through. Let's see what happens in our bye week. We are win week number nine. About to go week number 10. And Bollinger, we lost him. Florida State, Christian. It's unfortunate. Just our school is just not up to par for some of the top recruits, but that's okay. We're going to get some of these guys. Latimer's gone. Bollinger's gone, but we still have hope. We still have hope in Pope. We're right there. I don't know how much more we can do with our half back. We don't have any more points that we can get for to help him out either. No more points. We could try to sway him. Student of the game, we could try to sway him. That's the only thing that we could possibly do or we could soft sell them three or see that's more contact friends and family is just more hmm that's the student of the game we already did that yeah i can't do any more with them really i really can't do too much more doyle we're second we're right right there we need to schedule a visit are they playing navy hmm why not i don't know any of his any of the stuff that he wants playing time okay Boom. We know you want playing time. We know you want playing time. I have enough hours. I do have enough hours. I could hard sell you. I think there's only a couple of playing time. Let's see. Probably that one, maybe. Ooh, no, nope, not that. It is that one. He wants TV time. Don't know if we can give it to him, though. Don't know if we can give him that, but we're going to try. All right, another one we can hard sell, at least. We're going to go ahead and do that. All right, advanced week. Going to week number 11. Where are we going to be at? All right, we lost a three-star, but we got top five, top three schools. We level up and our five-star recruit is still in the game. We're still top three. So our pipeline is kind of messing with us on this guy. It's kind of messing with us. Student of the game. What else could we do to running backs to help him out? I'm not sure if we can do much more to running backs to help him. Let's see what it tells us. Um, increased starting interest from running backs. Well, that's a starting interest. Well, That'd be nice to have later. Well, since we need a QB, we'd probably do that. And we're still trying to get some wide receivers and stuff. So that's probably good too. Fortunately for our running back, we're kind of at the end of the line. Probably going to lose those hours or like get them back. Um, Beckner's gone. He's gone. We definitely have more hours now, but we just don't have nowhere to spend them. Ah, I, I kind of want to just get rid of this. kind of want to just get rid of this. I want to sway him and I want to sway him in, in like something I know. That we have really good stuff at playing time box playing styles not bad that one's not bad proximity homes not bad proximity homes kind of the deal breaker though so we kind of need that one. So i'm gonna go with conference prestige we're gonna go prestigious 25 we need 50 um and a soft sell so we got prestigious and we got a soft sell for the student of the game that'll be our soft sell does that do it i don't know i feel like it's just it's no hope at that at that point anymore but here we are we're second and Doyle now. We got a visit scheduled. Um, TV time. We got that one. We could hard sell him. The only way to do that is to go down here. There we go. It's game time. So he's hard sold. Um, top three interest second. You need, you need a hard sell as well. As soon as possible. Hard sell. There it is. Hard sell him. All right. We are ready to go to the next week. Hopefully, like, our team can win some games. Next next season, we'll definitely play some more games. Uh, do some more game stuff. We got commit. Okay, Zach Burns commits. Commits to the Bulls. Ah, uh, we finally lost Pope to LSU. It was a good fight, though. It was a good fight. We almost won it. We've probably finished second, but it is what it is. He commits. Let's go see. I know we lost, but let's go see. Yeah, we lost. We were second. We were right there, man. We were right there. Pipeline tier of five. We didn't have any pipeline tier. Zero pipeline tier kind of kind of hurt us there. Florida Gators commits to us, so he stays on the board. Uh, anyways, I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. This was a very long video, I know, but hopefully just seeing me recruit, seeing what I'm doing, see what I'm looking at, it can help you be a better recruiter in this game basically if you get three check marks over on the right hand side you want to hard sell that as fast as possible as soon as you're in the top five you want to schedule a visit as soon as possible and if you have too many recruits it makes it very hard to get some of these recruits because you'll run out of hours very quickly that you need 
to get these recruits. And like scouting can be very important on lower tier guys, like one star, two star, three star guys, if you need it. But I like putting some of my time and my actions into actually sending the house hard selling or soft selling and stuff like that to get a big boost in their influence and hopefully eventually commit to my school. We didn't land any four stars in this video. If you guys have been watching the live streams, you may have seen us land some four stars in our other uh, dynasty that we're doing. Been really, really fun playing it. Doyle's are, looks like our closest four star right now, but it looks like we're going to lose them to Georgia, obviously a higher tier school. And of course they have a pipeline tier of five. We have a pipeline tier of four. So we have a chance. It's just going to be a lot harder because our playing time, we're not a championship contender. We don't have very good brand exposure. So our actual motivations that we have are just not good for him. Like they fit him, but they're not good. Our playing time, he's an A+. Plus. See, if he had playing time, proximity to home, and like conference prestige or academic prestige, I think we'd be winning the battle. But unfortunately, he does not. He wants to win a championship. He wants to run some TV ads and have some TV time. And that is just not what he's going to get at our school currently until we start building that stuff up and become a championship contender. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, like, follow, share, favorite the video, subscribe for new, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one.